Hello, geometry students, Mr. Zazik back and better than ever. I am nursing a little bit of a sore throat right now. Um, uh, really, just kind of weak voice. So, um, but excited to start. Um, Unit 5, and in Unit 5, we're going to be looking at uh, different relationships uh, within triangles and understanding some of um, what we can determine uh, with different information. So we're going to talk today, the, the big focus of um, our time here today is going to be related to uh, this issue of the mid-segment, and a triangle mid-segment is... Um, <clears throat> A segment that is connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So first off, I just want to help us understand that um, how can we recognize when this is um, in, in case the fact? Well, one way that we can recognize this is they just tell us that the mid-segment with words. Um, another way that we could recognize this is that we could be given the midpoints. So they might, you know, a, a question might say, uh, such and such is a midpoint, and um, therefore the two connecting midpoints uh, are, make a mid-segment. A third way that we could be uh, recognize this is we could be given tick marks. That, that's what this diagram is here on the left. We've got tick marks, and the tick marks indicate that we have a midpoint, and therefore we have a mid-segment. And um, the last way we could do it is we could be given numeric values, uh, which would, again, lead us to a midpoint. So, uh, for example, in this one, this might be, you know, 4 and 4, and over here, this might be 6 and 6. Those numbers would indicate to us that that point is a midpoint, and therefore, we have a mid-segment. Okay, so once we have the mid-segment, we get the triangle mid-segment theorem, which says, if a segment joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and half the length uh, of it. So as we look at this, if D is the midpoint of CA and E is the midpoint of CB, then we have uh, DE. This is a, so what we want to identify here is, so therefore DE is a mid-segment. So now that it's a mid-segment, what we conclude? Well, we conclude that these lines are parallel to each other, and then DE is half of AB. All right, so just um, in relationship to parallel, with parallel, keep in mind angle relationships. So we'll look at some examples of that. All right, so we know something about the length, and we know something about them being parallel. All right, so what are the three pairs of parallel sides in triangle DEF? All right, so how we look at this. First of all, we want to recognize that the congruent tick marks uh, Therefore, we have R, S, and T are midpoints. Therefore, we have R, S, uh, R, T, and T, S are mid-segments. So just trying to help us get the right thought process for these questions. So what's going to be parallel then is, so therefore RS would be parallel to DF, and DE would be parallel to TS, 
that would be the mid segment so we've done rs and we've done ts and then the last one would be rt would be parallel to ef okay so all of those mid segments are parallel okay so <clears throat> number two what is the measure of angle uh, v u o what's this angle right here in the figure explain your reasoning okay so let's see tick marks tick marks lead us to u and v are midpoints therefore uv is a mid segment Therefore, um, NM is parallel to UV. It's one of the properties of mid-segments. And so now um, we have, so therefore, uh, the measure of angle VUO is going to equal 65 because it is, is a corresponding angle um, to angle N. All right, so you might have seen that quicker, but I'm, I'm just trying to be very deliberate to help us understand the thought process is this is, um, you know, we're putting something new with something that we've, we've done before. Okay. So let's let's continue along here. So um, in triangle QRS, T, U, and B are midpoints. Okay, what are the lengths of TU, UB, and QR? Okay, so we've got some different things that we're um, looking for. All right, so midpoints. So therefore, mid segments. So therefore, what we want to lead to now is we want to think about it's being half the length. So as we see this, um, TU is going to equal ha one half. So here's TU. It's going to be half of SR. So we know what SR is. We know that SR is 40. So therefore, TU is going to equal 20. So that was one that we wanted to find. Another one that we're asked to find is UB. Let me get a different color here. Help to differentiate. Okay, so UB, that's this one. Well, that's a mid-segment, and therefore it's half of um, QS. Well, we know that QS is 50, so therefore UB would be 25. Okay, let me get a final color here. The last one we're trying to find is QR. Well, QR is the third side, and TB is the one we know. In this case, so TB is one half of QR. So let's do a little bit of algebra, and if we multiply both sides by 2, 2 times TB equals QR. Well, we know what TB is. We know that TB is 30. So 60 equals QR. So in other words, you know, if we've given the mid segment and we want to find the side, we're going to uh, double the length of that segment. Or we're going to take a half going the other way. All right, number four in figure... And the figure AD is 6, okay, which means DC is going to be 6. And then DE is 7.5. What are the lengths? And then it gives us a bunch of things that we're trying to find the lengths of. All right, so what we want to see is tick marks give us midpoints, which give us mid segments so that's the thought process that we have going on here and let's look at the specific um, 
specific things we're being asked to find. Okay, so first of all, DC. Oh, we kind of already did that. So 80 equals DC. <coughs> Excuse me. DC. We know that 80 is 6. So 6 equals DC. All right, what is AC equal then? Well, AC equals AD plus DC. So AC equals 6 plus 6. So AC equals 12. All right, now we're being asked to find EF. Well, EF is a mid segment. So a mid segment is one half of, this is our EF or FE, that's going to be one half of AC. And we just found that AC is uh, 12, half of, whoops, so it's half of 12. So EF would be 6. All right, and then the last one that we're being asked to find is AB. So AB, which is a mid-segment, let me use a different color. Um, so here's AB. AB is the side. Um, let me write this the other way, flip it around here. Um, DE equals one half of AB. So if we double both sides, two times DE is going to equal AB. So we know that DE is 7.5. Okay. And this is where we get to uh, 15 would be AB. So we've got all the pieces that we've been asked to find there. All right. Um, <clears throat> now a question like five kind of puts our algebra skills a little bit to the to the test. Um, again, just thought process wise, find the value of x. It says, okay, so tick marks tell us that we have midpoints. If the midpoints are connected, we have a mid segment, and so we want to understand that the mid segment is half of the third side. So x minus 4 equals 1 half of 20. So 1 half of 20 is 10. We add 4. So x would be 14. So not so confusing when we just, you know, kind of put it through here. All right, uh, number 6. Points E, D, and H are the midpoints of the sides of triangle T, U, H. So we've got midpoints. U, V is 80. T, V is 100. And H, D is 80. Find the perimeter of triangle H, E, D. Well, just to remember that the perimeter equals the sum of all sides. So in triangle HED, so the perimeter of triangle HED is going to be HE plus ED plus HD. Well, we already have HD, so we got to find the other two sides. So <coughs> HE equals one half of 80. So HE would be 40. Our other mid segment here, ED, is going to equal one half of 100. So ED is going to equal uh, half of 100 is 50. So now the perimeter of triangle HED is uh, HE, which is 40, plus 50, plus 80, <laughs> excuse me, um, which would be, what, 120, 170, so it would be 170. So the perimeter of triangle HED. So some just different ways of applying um, these relationships with this and this. Okay, now I'm not going to talk, um, I'm going to kind of talk to 
a little bit about this, um, but you're going to do this one in a lab, so I'm not going to do the whole thing for it. I'm just going to kind of give you the framework for it. Um, it says triangle uh, ABC has A is 0, 0, B is 4, 4, and C is 8, 2. So 8, 2. So that's C. So if we take that and we connect those points, we get ourselves triangle um, ABC. It says use, using this to demonstrate the triangle mid-segment theorem. So find the vertices of D, the midpoint of AB. So let's think about our midpoint formula. X1 plus X2 divided by 2, comma, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula, that's for you. You have to add and divide by 2. Okay, well, we can also sort of just kind of look here and see that if we go up 2 over 2 and up 2 over 2, we've got ourselves the middle. So D here would be the point 2, 2. All right. And then find the midpoint of BC. Well, it's going to be right here, as we can see, and that which would be the point 6, 3. All right. Now, how are we going to show that parallel? Well, let's do this. Let's look for it as the same slope. So we're going to need to show that they have the same slope. So we'll use the slope formula. And then how are, for D, how are we going to show that? We're going to use the distance formula. All right, so again, I'm not going to do all of this out because you're going to do this in a lab, and I think that, you know, this is stuff that, by this point in the year, we've got all the elements of it. But I just wanted to kind of get you started so when you go to your lab, you'll have, um, you know, a little more clarity about what to do if you didn't already know that. But essentially what we're going to do there is we're going to prove the triangle mid-segment theorem or demonstrate it on the coordinate plane. Okay, it would be good for you to do these reflection questions. Uh, they'll be helpful for you in it. And uh, all right, here we go, Unit 5. Let's keep ask, ask, and keep on asking questions. Good luck.